In today's Warzone video, I'm giving you guys the top five meta loadouts you guys should be using. These are going to 110% be the top five most picked loadouts here on Rebirth Island. I think you guys are going to enjoy today's video. If you do, give it a like, subscribe, the notifications turned on. Of course, let's hop into this. But before any farther into the video, I want to introduce you to today's video sponsor, Outplayed. Outplayed is a really cool gameplay capture app that allows you to automatically capture your kills, your headshots, kind of exit out your death so you don't have to record those at all in other key moments. And when you have those things recorded, you can go ahead and share them to different social media platforms like discord twitter all just with a single click of a button it's super simple and easy and of course i'm sure some of you guys are going to want to edit some of your clips down they do have a built-in video editor within the app that allows you to do all that really cool stuff but let's say you want to capture another game besides like warzone or call of duty you can actually go ahead and choose from one of the 300 plus games and outplay its library so if this sounds interesting to you make sure you guys go ahead hit that link in the description below so you can go ahead and download outplay today thank you outplay for sponsoring today's video okay so for our first gun here today we're going to be taking a look at the cooper car Carbine. This is a gun that gets picked an astronomically high amount of times on Rebirth Island. So let's give you guys pretty much the number one meta built for it. Uh, first thing, Muzz, we're going to go throw on the MX Sounds here. Your sound suppression, horizontal and vertical recoil control along with damage range. Uh, barrel section, we're going to go throw on the 22 Cooper Custom. This is going to make it as good as it possibly can be for being an AR while increasing its fire rate and damage range. That's super awesome. It also helps out with your recoil control quite a bit. And that's all real good stuff. Um, out of rail section, what we're going to do is we're going to go throw on the M1941 handstop just to help out with our overall recoil control. This gun's got a tad bit of it, but we can definitely minimize that down to pretty much almost nothing, and this is going to help out with that. Magazine, what we're going to do is we're going to go throw on the 9mm 60 round drum. Got to increase that fire rate here once again, and of course, it gives you a recoil control and accuracy boost along with ADS speed and magazine ammo capacity. So this is all real good stuff here for the Cooper Carbine ammunition we're definitely gonna go throw on lengthen to increase that bullet velocity this is a true ar and we're trying to use it as an ar so we got to be able to make sure our bullets hit faster at those longer ranges um after that we're gonna go to the rear grip section here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and find the polymer grip for flinch resistance and accuracy and recoil during sustained fire a lot of people love using the polymer grip on this thing for good reason because it's a really solid rear grip optic uh we have a couple options in here but more or less you're either gonna go for the g16 2.5 x for this specific build or you could go down a little bit farther and go for the svt scope for that three to six times magnification i know i apparently this messes with recoil control just a little bit for some people uh so if you don't want to go for the three to six times just go for the g16 2.5 x and that'll be great for rebirth island you should not have any issues now in the stock section, what we're going to do is we're going to go for the Cooper Custom Padded for accuracy and recoil during sustained fire and, of course, flinch resistance. Uh, this is a really, really great stock. I've also had great success using the Cooper 45W, and this course gives you that accuracy and recoil during sustained fire, and that gives you that recoil control when mounted, crouched, or prone. So uh, between these two, you guys really can't go too wrong, but pretty much stay away from like the remove stock or something like that, as this is trying to be like a real accurate AR, and of course, that's not going to allow you to do that. Uh, perk 1, we're going to go for tight grip. This can help us out here during sustained fire, so that's real good. And then in perk two, what we're going to do is we're going to go throw on a fully loaded just to max out our starting ammo capacity. So this is my full build tier for the Cooper Carbine. Uh, definitely try it out. Hope you all enjoy this one. It's a really, really solid build. All right, next up, I'm going to give you guys builds here for the Armaguera, Armaguera, whatever you want to call it, the Arma. I don't really care. Uh, but pretty much this is one of the most highly picked smgs on rebirth island and it's a real good smg one of my personal favorites so let's give you guys a really solid build that i enjoy using here quite a bit so muzzle what we're going to do is we're going to go throw on the recoil booster to increase that fire rate uh, barrel section we're going to go throw on the imretto 550 millimeter 03p barrel this is going to help out with your recoil control and accuracy flinch resistance all that great stuff so this is going to be a really solid barrel i've also switched this out for the body 570 but with this specific build here i've kind of switched around a few attachments so we're definitely going to stick with the uh imretto barrel after that the underbarrel section we're going to go down here we're going to use the sg98 compact here just to really make us an absolute unit with that strafe speed a uh, magazine we're gonna go through on the 9 mil 55 round mag this used to be a 60 until they kind of nerfed it uh but pretty much otherwise it's still the exact same thing so definitely still go ahead and run this um ammunition you guys can either throw on lengthened or you can throw on subsonic uh subsonic of course is going to keep you off the mini map lengthened will not i personally don't care that much when i'm playing rebirth solos just because i want people to funnel my way and uh lengthened kind of actually works in my favor sometimes increases the bullet velocity and lets people know where i'm at which is kind of something I like when I'm trying to drop high kill solo gameplays. Um, rear grip section, what we're going to do is we're going to go throw on the grooved grip here. Aim walking, movement speed, horizontal recoil control, ADS fry move speed, and aiming stability. This is going to be a really solid rear grip here, and it's got very minimal cons that we can definitely deal with. 
uh, optic section. We're gonna go throw on slate reflector here. Just gotta make sure that, you know, we have, you know, a beautiful way to be able to see people through our sights. The iron sights realistically aren't terrible, but uh, when you're actually trying to use this gun as like a loadout gun, definitely, definitely want to have a slate reflector on there. You could probably go for the Nidar Model 47. That'd be good too. But otherwise, the slate reflector is the way to go. Stock section, we're going to go for the Amaretto TA Skeletal here. This is a tried and true stock I run on pretty much all my Armageddon setups. Uh, so definitely just go for the Amaretto. And then in perk one, we're going to go either down here for Vital. That's a really, really great option. I actually really enjoy Vital. Or you could go for something like Slate of Hand. But uh, this gun has such great recoil control ability. So there's almost like no reason you shouldn't use Vital to increase your overall torso damage. And you also got pretty much, you know, 60 rounds in your magazine. So you don't really need to reload all that often in comparison to other SMGs. So Vital is a really great option. Now, perk two, we're just going to go throw on quick here to increase that overall sprint speed, speed up our gun a little bit. So this is my full build here for the Armaguera. Uh, hope you all enjoy this one. Definitely try it out. Super good gun. All right, next up, but let's give you guys a build here for the Modern Warfare Car 98K. A lot of people on Rebirth Island love using the Modern Warfare Car 98 as opposed to any other sniper rifle. It's like the highest pick one out there. Uh, so let's give you guys a really great build for it. And of course, this is a build, I think, or at least a variant that a lot of people absolutely love. I bought this actually way after the fact when I went to the Modern Warfare store and I loaded up Modern Warfare 2019, and that's how I was able to get that. Uh, but otherwise, I definitely did not buy this when it came out. But let's get into a build for this gun. First thing, muzzle, we're actually going to go throw on the Mono Suppressor Sound Suppression Damage Range. I've seen people also run this thing entirely unsilenced, which is not a bad way to do it as well. But for this specific build, we're going to run this thing silenced. Um, barrel section, we're definitely going to use a barrel on this thing. Uh, we're going to go throw on the Singard Arms 27.6 damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, real good stuff here. Uh, we're actually going to skip the laser section for now. We're going to go to the optic, and of course, you just got to go throw on your sniper scope. I mean, this is a pretty standard here, try and true. This got to have the sniper scope on there. There's no reason to switch it out for anything else. I don't believe there to be anything more effective. Um, stock, what we're going to do is we're going to go throw on the F-Tac Sport Comb to increase our ADS speed. Got to give ourselves a little bit more of that mobility to make this gun a tad bit faster. And last but definitely not least, I mean, we have a couple options in here. You can go for a laser, go throw on the TAC laser, um, but of course your reload speed is going to be pretty slow. Or you could go throw on something like Slate of Hand to increase your overall reload quickness, which on something like Rebirth Island can be very, very beneficial. I've actually personally um, enjoyed running this gun with the Slate of Hand perk and not necessarily a TAC laser, but I run this specific loadout. Though you could also take off the Mono Suppressor and run Slate of Hand and Attack Laser. You can switch between those combinations, but otherwise, my preference right now is this right here. So this is my full build here. Hope you all enjoy this one. Definitely try out the Car 980 if you're not using it. Really, really good. Next up, we're gonna take a look here at the MP40. This is an SMG I really love to use on Rebirth, and uh, this is probably one of the most effective SMGs in the entire game right now. So let's give you guys 110% the best build for this thing. Muzzle, we're gonna go throw on the Requel Booster. Of course, gotta increase the fire rate, standard attachment. Uh, barrel section, we're going to use the Krausnik 317mm 04B barrel. A lot of people run in the VDD short barrel for a long time, including myself. Uh, but ever since that Season 5 loaded update, we switched back to the Krausnik barrel. And this is definitely the way to go. This is a super effective barrel. Um, underbrow section, we're going to go throw on the Mark Skeletal here, the Mark VI. Some people get at me for saying Mark VI instead of like Mark VI or whatever it is. I mean, it doesn't matter too much. I mean, it's just the Mark Skeletal underbarrel. Uh, magazine we're gonna go throw on was it the 7.62 garank of 45 round mag i almost lost it there for a sec but uh this is just the magazine we've run it for a long time on the mp40 so there's no reason to switch it up it's it actually got a buff here more recently so there's definitely a reason to run it now um ammunition we're gonna go throw on a course lengthened uh like i said otherwise you guys could probably throw on like something like subsonic if you really felt like it but otherwise i just go for lengthened i don't really care people see where i'm at in the mini map i like that i kind of prefer that and then in uh, the rear grip section, we're going to go down here and we're going to go throw on, where is it at? I'm actually looking for it. It's going to be the taped grip. I actually couldn't find it there. I don't know why I couldn't, but pretty much this is a maximum sort of like movement speed style grip. And I really like running the taped on this gun. Um, optic. Here's where we have a few different options, but my preference is to go down here to the bottom and run these iron sights because the Krausnik barrel with the iron sights is super easy to be able to use. And I absolutely love it. So I go for the uh, just the increase in ADS speed benefit here with the Krausnik uh, iron sights. It doesn't matter which one you use, you still get the same benefit. Um, but otherwise, you guys could probably go for something like a slate reflector and be entirely okay as well, but it's up to you. So Nidar Model 47, slate reflector, those are the other two options, but otherwise, go for the iron sights. Stock, we're just going to go for the Krausnik 33M folding. That sprint to fire speed and movement speed, all great things right here. Uh, perk 2, what we're going to do, or perk 1, my bad. 
we're actually going to go down here so you have a brace which is what people ran for their uh, 189 millimeter short barrel but otherwise i like actually to go for like momentum or something like steady just because this is such an easy gun to be able to control i don't really feel like i need initial firing recoil so just give me that movement speed after kills can kind of help sometimes get out of a situation so i like that and then in uh, perk two, you guys just go for quick. Just increase your overall sprint speed. So this is my full build tier for the MP40. Um, I absolutely love the MP40. This is like seriously my go-to SMG right now in Rebirth Island. Um, a lot of fun and it's really great to use. And last but definitely not least, let's finish out this video here by giving you guys an AR build here since I really haven't given you one yet besides the Cooper Carbine. I know a lot of people love those MW weapons. And this one in specific, the Kilo 141, the Homecoming variant, absolutely beautiful. My favorite one I got. Uh, but let's give you guys the top tier build for this thing muscle we're gonna go throw on the mono suppressor sound suppression damage range of course uh barrel section we got to throw on the 19.8 prowler barrel damage range bullet velocity recoil control uh it does the same thing as the socom as you can see here you know nothing really changes uh but pretty much the prowler barrel does everything the socom barrel does but does it better and does more of it so more damage range more bullet velocity more recoil control all that good stuff you definitely 110 percent without a doubt in my mind need to be running the prowler does not matter what other people tell you the prowler is the way to go we've run this for a while now and there's no reason to switch away from it um underbrow section commando foregrip recoil stabilization aiming stability this is just you know pretty standard i mean i don't really think you need anything else the kilo one for one's got very minimal to like zero recoil uh so just throwing the commando foregrip to stabilize it out a little bit magazine a couple options in here 50 and 60 round mag you guys know the drama 60 round mag kind of guy so i go for that beautiful 60 uh but i mean i just always like to go for the 60 anyways uh stay away from the 100 round drum i like to go for usually a maximum ammo capacity in my ars but uh this is kind of like the exception right here we don't go for this this is a whole bunch of shenanigans um as long as you don't weigh too much not viable in any capacity it is not good just go for a 60 or 50 personal preference to you guys but for me i go for a 60. now to finish off this build here we have a couple options or a few options in the optics section if the corp combat hollow sight for that increase and just you know looking down sights just it gives you a little bit more so um i personally like running this even though even though i don't have the blue dot i think the corp combat hollow is great for that shorter to mediumish range uh, but also you can go down here for the vlk three times and just get a little bit more past that mediumish range to longer range uh but of course on rebirth island it's not like you're going to be at super super long sight lines uh, I guess depending on how you play, you guys can, you know, outfit it for that. But the VLK three times or the Corp Combat Hollow, you realistically can't go wrong with either or. You're going to have great success with both. And then if you want to get a little bit crazy with it down here, the PBX Hollow 7 site, the same thing as the Corp Combat Hollow, but just looks a little bit different. So um, it just gives you a bit of that cool look to it. Otherwise, just go for the VLK of the Corp Combat Hollow and uh, call it a day. So this is my full builds here for the Kilo 141. This is my video. If y'all enjoyed today's video, give it a like, subscribe, so notifications turned on, and I'll see you all later. Just around a triple cap, don't be Randy, and I'm out. Peace.